Here is a quick video to show how to use the multi-function food cutter. Please watch it in full, as it will help you make the most out of your tool. What can the food cutter do? The food cutter is equipped with four cutting modes to make slices, fries and chips, dices, and juliennes from your favorite vegetables and fruits. There are also 40 thickness levels to choose from, ranging from 0.5 millimeters to 8 millimeters in thickness. Components and controls. Please familiarize yourself with the various components of your food cutter. Collapsible handle. Feeder, i.e. the feeding chute for vegetables. Feeder's lock, unlock button to attach, detach the feeder. Pusher, to push vegetables into the feeder. Foldable feet. Suction bases, to secure the tool onto a countertop. Concealed blades. Blade guard, to cover the blades when not in use. Knob one, to adjust blade modes. Knob two, to adjust blade modes. Thickness regulator, to adjust the cutting thickness. Catch container, to catch cut vegetables. Cleaning brush, to safely clean the sharp blades. How to get the food cutter ready for use. Follow these few simple steps to get the product ready for use. Pull out the feet all the way until they lock into position. Place the food cutter on a stable flat surface and push it down so that the suction bases at the bottom can firmly attach to the surface. Turn the handle clockwise to extend it. Pull the lock unlock button up to release the removable blade guard and replace it with the feeder. Release the lock unlock button to lock the feeder into position. Put the container at the back of the food cutter between the two feet. The food cutter should now look like this. How to cut foods. The food cutter can perform four cutting functions as follows. One, cutting foods into slices. Put the food into the feeder. Rotate the thickness regulator to choose your desired thickness. Make sure all vertical blades are down. If they are not, use knob one and knob two to collapse them. Use the pusher to push the food into the feeder and push the handle simultaneously to start slicing. The slices will come out from the other end and fall into the catch container. Two, cutting foods into strips, chips, fries. Put the food into the feeder. Rotate the thickness regulator to choose your desired thickness. Note, it's best to choose a higher number, that is four or above for a thicker setting. Make sure only one set of the vertical blades are up. If none is up, use knob one or knob two, but not both to raise them up. If all are up, use knob one or knob two, but not both to collapse them. Use the pusher to push the food into the feeder and push the handle simultaneously to cut the food into strips, chips, or fries. Three, cutting foods into juliennes. Put the food into the feeder. Rotate the thickness regulator to choose your desired thickness. Note, it's best to choose a lower number, that is, four or below for a thinner setting. Make sure all vertical blades are up. If they are not, use knob one and knob two to raise them up. Use the pusher to push the food into the feeder and push the handle simultaneously to cut the food into juliennes. Four. Cutting foods into dices. Cut the food lengthwise into slices, as thick as how you want your dices to be. Place the slices lengthwise into the feeder. Rotate the thickness regulator to choose your desired thickness. Make sure only one set of the vertical blades are up. If none is up, use knob one or knob two, but not both, to raise them up. If all are up, use knob one or knob two, but not both, to collapse them. Note. For smaller dicing, raise all vertical blades. 
use the pusher to push the food into the feeder and push the handle simultaneously to cut the food into dices. Note, the thickness regulator can set 40 different thickness levels, ranging from 0.5 millimeters to 8 millimeters. The lower the number, the thinner the results will be. The higher the number, the thicker the results will be. Use the pusher for thin cutting thicknesses and for hard foods. Larger foods should be cut first into halves or quarters before being cut with the food cutter. Suggested fruits and vegetables. The food cutter works best with firm vegetables like carrots, cucumbers, onions, potatoes, turnips, rutabagas, zucchini, large radishes, squash, beetroots, capsicums, apples, pears, among others. Experiment and have fun. Blade controls. There are two types of blades employed by the food cutter to perform its cutting functions. Multiple vertical blades, one slicing blade. There are three control knobs at the back of the food cutter to adjust the blade's positions depending on which cutting function you want to perform. Knob one. Rotating this knob moves the first set of vertical blades up or down. This is useful for when you want to cut foods into strips, juliennes or dices. When the vertical blades are down, Rotating this knob 360 degrees clockwise will raise the vertical blades up. When the vertical blades are up, rotating this knob 360 degrees counterclockwise will collapse and hide the vertical blades. To rotate this knob, simply lift up the green flap, rotate it, then lock it down to secure the vertical blades in the new position. Knob 2. Rotating this knob moves the second set of vertical blades up or down. This is useful for when you want to cut foods into strips, juliennes, or dices. When the vertical blades are down, rotating this knob 360 degrees clockwise will raise the vertical blades up. When the vertical blades are up, rotating this knob 360 degrees counterclockwise will collapse and hide the vertical blades. To rotate this knob, simply lift up the green flap Rotate it, then lock it down to secure the vertical blades in the new position. Thickness Regulator Rotating this knob moves the slicing blade up or down and thereby control how thick or thin your results will be. This control can be used in conjunction with all four cutting functions, slices, strips, juliennes, and dices. You can use it to set 40 different thickness levels ranging from 0.5 millimeters to 8 millimeters. The lower the number, the thinner the results will be. The higher the number, the thicker the results will be. How to store. Collapse the handle by pushing it down and turning it counterclockwise to lock it. Fold the feet by pushing them all the way toward the food cutter's body. Put the blade guard over the blades as a safety measure. Do this by pulling the lock unlock button up to release the feeder and replacing it with the blade guard. Put the pusher inside the feeder. They can then be placed alongside the cleaning brush inside the container for compact storage. The food cutter, when stored, should be compact, 13 by 13 by 33 centimeters in dimension. How to clean. It is best to clean the food cutter immediately after use. Use the provided plastic cleaning brush to remove debris in between the pusher teeth and blades. It is recommended that the food cutter's body be hand washed. The catch container, pusher, feeder, and cleaning brush can either be hand washed or put into the dishwasher, top rack only. How to hand wash the food cutter's body. Fold the feet by pushing them all the way toward the food cutter's body. Remove the feeder by pulling the lock unlock button up and pulling the feeder out. This will expose the concealed blades. Turn on your water tap and position the food cutter such that the blades are directly under the running water. Push the handle repeatedly to push any food remnants away from the blades. Use the provided cleaning brush if necessary to clean between the blades. Turn over the food cutter to wash the other side. Use mild detergent if necessary. Use baking soda to remove stains if there are any. Types of dishes that can be made. You can use the chopper to quickly make consistent and uniform dices from your favorite vegetables and fruits for salads, stir fries, soups, crudités, ragu, stews, 
desserts, and more. Experiment with what it can do. A number of recipe ideas are included in the bonus Briefton's Recipe eBooks that you get with your purchase. Cautions. This product contains very sharp blades. Use care when operating and washing it to avoid injuries. Not for use by children. Wash before first use. Do not heat or microwave the device. Thanks for watching and enjoy your multi-function food cutter.